YouTube, what's happening? I am here to do my uh, December vinyl update, and what a vinyl update it's going to be. You guys are in for a huge treat. Um, my wife and my folks got me gift certificates to Papa Jazz, and um, went crazy in there. Just bought a bunch of stuff, but, you know, um, I was only out of pocket a few dollars, so I was um, very happy to um, receive those gifts and um, use them. And what I've got playing right now, if you can hear it, I've had this for a little while. It's the 1969 Warner Brothers Reprise songbook. Um, it's a compilation. It's got everybody from Frank Zappa to Tiny Tim to um, Jethro Tull, Wild Man Fisher's on it, um, Saul Valentino, uh, Randy Newman. I mean, it's Van Morrison. It's just got a little bit of everybody on it. You know, it's it's it, it's great. Like I said, I've had it for a little while, and um, it's fun to throw on for a little while. And... Uh, so, let's get into the records. All right, uh, first off, for my uh, from my in-laws, um, I got two Beetle 45s um, that they found. Um, uh, and they're both in mono, which is pretty neat. Uh, yellow Submarine there, with the uh, B-side of uh, Eleanor Rigby, or is that the A-side? No, there you go. And, hold on, he's eating something. Hey, boom. Hey. Dogs. And uh, let's see, Hey Jude with the B side of what is the B side of Hey Jude Revolution. So those are cool, you know. Uh, what can you say? All right, let's get into this. And uh, if you got things to do, I you may want to clear your plate because there's several records here. All right, first off, Jethro Tull. My God, this is a bootleg. Um, I haven't listened to this yet, but uh, just kind of like. Uh, Bob Dylan's Great White Wonder and uh, Led Zeppelin's Blueberry Hill. It's kind of one of those famous bootlegs. So I picked that up. That was that was really neat. Um, something for Record Store Day that I picked up. You know, I originally wasn't going to get it, but I kind of, I kind of, uh, yeah, took the bull by the horns and said, you know what, let me get it because last year I didn't get that uh, the Grateful Dead's Record Store Day release and I uh, kind of regret it. But uh, here it is, Grateful Dead, their 2013 Record Store Day release. This is a uh, an acoustic show from April 18th, 1970 in San Francisco, and uh, it's, uh, I, you know, I don't think I've ever heard anything off of that, um, so definitely anxious to tear into that. Um, here's a Jimi Hendrix one I've got, I've never seen this before, and I got this a few days ago, and I haven't had an opportunity to listen to it, but it's called Jimi Hendrix at His Best, Volume 3. Um, I don't know anything about this. Some side one has. Uh, I wonder if it's kind of an interview. Like I said, I haven't listened to it. But side one, young Jimmy lift off. Side two, shifts wing spiked with heady dreams, and uh, giraffey. So, yeah, I don't know what all that's about. But uh, you know, if a couple of bucks, I'll give it a shot. Uh, Patty Smith Group Easter, good record. I almost hit myself with it. So, this is really cool. This is a, um, I have this already, and this this record holds a special place in my heart. My mother had this, and this was my introduction to the Beatles, and it is early Beatles, but the reason I picked it up, look at that. It's a promo. That's pretty neat. So, I was definitely, for $5, yeah, I was all over that. Record's in decent shape. Jacket has probably seen better days, but, uh, yeah, I, how many promo copies do you see of stuff like that? The answer is not many. Uh, one of the most underrated groups in history. Yes, underrated, overused, but nonetheless, Paul Revere and the Raiders, greatest hits. Can't beat it. Just like me, kicks, excellent stuff. Dave Brubach, ugh, Brubach rather, uh, quartet, Gone with the Wind. Uh, this is really beat up. Um, I paid a dollar for it. It is a, it is a first pressing. It's a six side. Uh, the jacket is, is shot, as you can see. The record has probably seen better days, but I have faith that I can clean it up and... Not restore it back to its former glory, but at least to playable. Hey, I didn't have this on vinyl. Deep Purple, Come Taste the Band. My favorite Deep Purple album, Tommy Bolin Rules. So, happy to have that. Excellent record. Um, I was talking to my dad Christmas Day, and he brought up uh, The Fifth Dimension, and um, got to talking with him. He's like, yeah, I can't believe you don't have anything by them. You need to check them out. They're great. And he was absolutely right. I went to Papa Jazz and found a couple of records by them, and yeah, the Fifth Dimension, Soul Picnic, or Stoned Soul Picnic, rather, and it's uh, in, got, st still got the uh, shrink wrap on it, It's uh, the record's in great shape, uh, happy to have it, and uh, yeah, 
Dad was absolutely right. Fifth Dimension, excellent band. Stanley Clark, School Days. Good record. Really cool record. Um, now, I already have this, Humble Pie. I've gone on about this record. I've even reviewed this record, and this is you know, easily in my top 20 favorite records of all time. Why did I pick it up? Well, see, I don't have the record that looks like this. My record just looks like that, and it doesn't even have a hole. But this one, you know, it, it's got the shot on it, so for $3, yeah, I, I'll, I'll pick it up. It's nothing wrong with it. Excellent condition all the way around. Fifth Dimension, Go Where You Want to Go, Up and Away. So, how cool is that? More Fifth Dimension. Here we go. Ray Charles, Genius Soul. Genius plus soul equals jazz. Impulse label. So, I thought that was cool for a couple of dollars. Elvis, Gold Records. You know, when you see Elvis for $3, you pick it up. Excellent stuff. Here's one that Chris has showed, and many of them have showed, and this is the 1980 pressing of it, but it's still, nonetheless, uh, very happy to have in my collection. Completely well, B.B. King. Cool stuff. Uh, another greatest hits by uh, The Who that I didn't have, but I thought it was cool and jumped on it. The Who. The story of The Who. So there's that. Um, now, I have about five copies of this record, but I couldn't pass it up. This is Revolver by the Beatles, of course, my favorite Beatles album. This is a first pressing. I'll show you this. Okay? It looks like it's never been played. Check the jacket out. I don't know how well this is going to go with the contrast and everything. But look, there's absolutely no ring wear whatsoever on it. None of the edges are even bent. Look at this. This is not a reissue. This is this is an original. I was I was so happy to finally find this in in, in great condition because like I said I've got a few copies of this already, but they're really not in any kind of playing condition. They, they they're really beat up. They're really shot. And I was kind of dumbfounded when I saw this. This this looks like it's never been played. And whoever had this took incredible care of it, and I thank them for it. And I'll do the same. Just just a great shape, great record. Um, Next, Kiss, the originals. I did not have this. Um, I see it every now and then, and this one was in my price range, and, uh, well, I, yeah, I had a gift card, so anything was in my price range, right? Uh, but I picked it up nonetheless. Kiss's first three albums. Can't go wrong with it. Uh, it doesn't have any of the stickers or the, what else came in it? Uh, the booklet, none of that, and just, just, just the records. Um, again, another promo copy. The Doors, absolutely live. And check that out, white labeled. So I was definitely happy to find that. Promos are kind of my thing. That and uh, bootleg vinyl, uh, I just one of those things I love to collect, primarily promos. Uh, speaking of bootleg vinyl, Jimi Hendrix, live, at Lo live in Los Angeles, 425.70. And this is on the, uh, I don't know, how's that? Rubber Dubber. So, very, very, very happy to have that. So, that was excellent find. Coltrane, live at Birdland, in Pulse Label. Great stuff. You know, a record that I've always heard about that uh, I've, I've, for whatever reason, never picked up. Tracy Chapman. This is uh, our first record, so anxious to check that out. Another record, this is an upgrade for me. Uh, my favorite by this band, Masters of Reality, Black Sabbath. It's my favorite Sabbath record. So, there's that. Okay, B.B. King, Indiola, Mississippi Seeds. This is probably my favorite by him. This or Cook County Jail, but I'll probably take this. I like this record a lot. Definitely my favorite by B.B. King. Um, the Paul Butterfield Blues Band, the reincarnation of Pigpen uh, Crabshaw, or Pig Boy Crabshaw. So, it's a great stuff. I'd love to get East West, but uh, this is a great record as well. Uh, these ones I already showed. I, I trade with Dan, Juicy Lucy, get a whiff of this, and uh, the excellent Al Cooper, Mike Bluefield, Live Adventures. Excellent record. I've gone on and on and on and on about that record. It's just amazing. More bootlegs. How about this? The Beatles, Live in Atlanta. So there's what's on side one. Okay, and side two. All right, so definitely happy to get that on the trademark quality label and all that. Super happy to find that. Um, haven't listened to this yet. I like King Crimson. I don't know. If, I like some King Crimson. Um, there are earlier albums, I guess. And well, I sound like a hipster there. But uh, anyway, Robert Fripp, Exposed. 
Definitely want to check that out. So, happy to find that. A couple of Steely Dan's, Pretzel Logic, Katie Lied. So, those are great. Those are, I think, later pressings. They've got the barcodes on them. But, you know, for a couple of bucks, happy to pick it up. Feel like you kind of have to have this in your record uh, collection. Uh, Billy Joel, Greatest Hits, Volume 1 and 2. You know, why not? It's Billy Joel. Just chock full of every song is fantastic. Eric Clapton, Blacklist. So, good stuff. Free Highway. Here's another upgrade. Um, the records in this are shot, but uh, my jacket there is good. Or, excuse me, the records in this is shot, but the one on my shelf, the records are in great shape, but the jacket is shot. Well, this one, the jacket is in good shape, so I'm just going to swap those out and do something with the other one. Oh, in case you don't know, Almond Brothers, Eat a Peach. Great record. Absolutely great record. Joan Baez, Blessed R. She does a really cool cover of uh, Salt of the Earth by the Stones. Um... Kind of really cool stuff. It's a double album, so anxious to check that out. I think this is a bootleg. Um, it just, it just kind of, it, it's flimsy. Look at this, and well, it's on that label. This is Neil Diamond's Shiloh, but look at the label. And uh, like I said, it's really the jacket's really kind of flimsy. But uh, for a dollar, you know, it's a bootleg. It's interesting from another country. Wanted to check it out. All right, we're almost done. Live at Bill Graham's Fillmore West. Here is, let's see, who is this? Uh, it's got Taj Mahal on it, uh, Al Cooper, or excuse me, Taj Mahal, Mike Bloomfield. Um, side one is in fantastic shape. Then I, I paid a dollar for it. Then I got home and checked it out. Side two has paint on it. Paint on it! But, you know, side one is there, so, yeah, it'll be all right. Uh, couldn't believe I didn't have this in my collection, but for five bucks, it came home. Wishbone Ash, their first album. Um, you know, heard a lot of people post this. Um, um, I heard it a couple of times, and I uh, had to pick it up on vinyl for myself. Alabama. This is a great record. I remember this from my childhood. Uh, feels so right. You know, my uh, folks had the cassette of this. So, you know, grew up listening to that. Marshall Tucker Band. Up where, or excuse me, this is uh, where we all belong. So that's a great record. Really, really cool. Definitely my favorite by Marshall Tucker Band. Um, another first pressing. This is in better shape than the other one, but this is Dave Brubeck, uh, Time Out. And I'll show you the record. So there's that. And uh, last, the early cream. So this is all, uh, it's only got a couple of, or a, six songs on it so okay and well i guess one more what i got vana related these are the best bags going this is from bags unlimited and um there's what you need to know about those these are absolutely fantastic i cannot recommend these highly enough if you need record sleeves bags unlimited that kind of stuff good stuff as always guys thank you so much for watching um, i hope everybody had a merry christmas and uh i'll see you guys next year Take care now. Bye.